Peter L. Crowley. I am Director of Fermentation for the Haymarket Pub and Brewery and President of the Illinois Craft Brewers Guild. We're called the Haymarket because we're located in the Haymarket Square where the Haymarket Square riot happened in 1886. Um, I would say a third of our beer names are, are named after people or, or events of that time. Uh, the labor movement, the eight-hour workday, the, we have beers named after both the, the police uh, and, and the side of the law and also the, the side of the anarchists and the protesters. I think craft beer has a spot in not only the beverage world, um, the food world, but also the community. Um, it's, it's creative, it brings people together. Neighborhoods are, are embracing businesses to come to their to their area and, and make beer and get behind it. Um, there's a lot of Chicago land neighborhoods that have been contacting um, people interested in breweries, trying to offer uh, funds, federal and local funds, to help rehab buildings, trying to bring them there. Uh, Two Brothers is a great example of going to Aurora. Um, they received some funds to help rebuild the, the roundhouse. Um, so there's gonna be a lot more of that as, as communities are trying to build business and they realize that craft brewing and, and brew pubs are hot. Um, it's also a fun industry and it's a close industry, so you're not bringing in competitors, you're bringing in folks that are going to help build the total industry and make it better for everybody. Uh, I think the, the community of Chicago is very unique in that Chicago has really become Chicago because of the diversity that exists in the city. It's central location, so it's access to things from all over the country, from both the East Coast, the West Coast, and abroad all are able to get into Chicago. So our accessibility to beer styles from all over the world and even from all over the U.S. is, is one of the best in the country. A lot of beers on the West Coast you can't get on the East Coast and vice versa, but because we're right in the middle, we're able to enjoy, enjoy that. So I think the beer scene reflects that in that you have breweries that are focused on lagering. You've got brewery focused on Latin styles. You've got brewery focused on English styles, you got a brewery focused on Belgian and, and hoppy styles, that's my joint. So you're seeing the influence of Chicago's location and the city itself and the diversity of neighborhoods in the beer and in the industry. I've always been a huge fan of the pub and my favorite part of the pub and of, of our pub is, is just the ability to interact with all the customers on a day-to-day -day basis and you get instant feedback. Uh, all day, every day, there's always People in here having a beer that want to chat, that want to share their stories, bring in their homebrew, talk about their beers. Um, so it's it's just a neat sense of community, and and just a sense of uh, the environment of kind of a friendly environment to be able to just share stories and share the pints. And we have a very open brewery. It's all on one spot near both dining rooms, so the customers are able to really feel and be a part of of the brewery and poke their head in and and say hi to the other two guys, David and Steve, as well as myself. So we feel like we're able to keep the brewery as a part of the restaurant and pub, so it's not two separate entities. That's why I like brew pubs so much. And my favorite part about brewing is really the satisfaction at the end of the day of, of, of making something with your hands from scratch, that it's your idea. You came up with this idea and you're like, I want to have a beer that tastes and smells like this. And then you actually execute it at the end of the day, it's in the tank. And then you have to wait, kind of like a kid coming up on Christmas, and then weeks later when it's ready, you're able to sit down and, and share a pint with, with your friend or with your customer, which happens to usually be my friend. Um, and so that's really the best part of, of my day, is just the end of the day when you feel like you, you know that you've, you've created something, something fun, and, uh, and you need to get up in the morning and do it again.